Hello, today's video is on exponential growth and decay application problems. So we're first gonna look at exponential growth. So remember, if something is growing, it means it's exponentially increasing over time. So the formula that goes with exponential growth is y equals a times one plus r to the t power. So the A stands for the initial or starting amount. So A is the initial amount. R is your rate of growth. So it's your growth rate. And T stands for probably what you think it stands for. T stands for time. So we're going to use this formula when something is growing exponentially. Okay. So let's do the first example together. It says the original value of an investment is $1,400 and the value increases by 9% each year. Use an exponential growth function to find the value of the investment after 25 years. So we need to be able to pull out what our A is, what our R is, and what our T is so we can plug it all in. So A is the initial amount. So it says the original value, that's a synonym for like initial, initial or starting value. So the original value is 1400. So that's what A is gonna represent. Let me use the same colors I highlighted up there. So that's $1,400. And it's increased by a growth rate of 9%. So it's increasing by 9% each year. And it wants to know what the value will be and our time would be the 25 years. So now we can plug everything in where it belongs. So it says to do y equals a, which we said was 1400 times one plus r. So here's where you have to be careful. So we said a was 1400. It does help to kind of write these down over here. R is 9%. Well, we can't do math with percents. We have to convert that to a decimal. So to convert that to a decimal, you would do 9 divided by 100, and you would get 0 0.09. So that's my R. And my T, of course, is 25 years. Then we're going to type this entire thing into a calculator. So you're going to type 1,400, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.09, parenthesis, carrot 25, and you should get 12,072, and since we're working with money, we have two decimals for cents, so $12,072.31. All right, let's do one more together. It says the cost of tuition at a college is $12,000. That's the initial amount, and it's increasing keyword, here's our growth rate, at a rate of 6% each year, use an exponential function to find the tuition cost after four years. So that would be my time. So A, the starting value is $12,000. My R, it's increasing at a rate of 6%, but we can't do anything with percentages, so we do 6 divided by 100, and we get 0 0.06. And our time in this case is four years. So now we can plug everything in. So y equals, my starting value is 12,000. So I'm just following our formula up here. Times one plus, it's always one plus for exponential growth. Our rate we said was 0 0.06. And our time is to the fourth power. So now in a calculator, we can type this all at once. So you would tw type 12,000, parenthesis, 1 plus 0 0.06, carat 4. And you should get $15,149. And again, since we're talking money, we're going to round to two decimals. So in 72 cents. And that would be your answer. All right, I would like you to try number three on your own now. So it says the number of student athletes at a like at a local, I can't talk today, at a local high school is 300. And it's increasing at a rate of 8% per year. Use an exponential function 
to find the number of student athletes after five years. So go ahead and tell me what A is, what your R is, and what your T is, and then plug it into your formula. Y equals A times one plus R all to the T power. All right, now I'd like you to try number four. So it says annual sales for a company are 149,999 and are increasing at a rate of 6% per year. Use an exponential function to find the annual sales after seven years. So using your same formula, first tell me what your A is, your initial amount, your rate is, and what your time is and plug it into your formula. All right, let's go ahead and do some um, exponential decay problem. So for exponential decay, we have a slightly different formula. So exponential decay occurs when a quantity exponentially decreases over time. So for example, um, a population or your bank account or the value of a car or something like that. Our formula is very similar. It's y equals a times one minus r to the power of t. So very similar, the only thing that's different is that minus sign. So when you have something decreasing, you'll use minus. When something's growing, you'll use plus. So A is our initial amount. All these variables represent the exact same thing. R is your rate of decay, so decay rate. We're not growing, we're decaying in this one. And T, of course, is time. So let's do an example. The population of a town is decreasing at a rate of 1% each year. So there's my R right there, 1%. In 2000, there were 1,300 people. So that's how many people we're starting with. It would like to know what the population will be in 2008. It says use an exponential function to find the population in 2008. So our initial population was 1,300. And it would like to know what our population is in 2008. All right, so just like our, our last problem, we can't use a percentage, so we're going to do 1 divided by 100, and that should give you 0 0.01. That's what we'll be plugging in for R. So we'll have Y equals A, our initial population was 1,300, times 1 minus our R, which is 0 0.01. And then here's the kicker. We need to figure out how much time has passed. In 2000, there was 1,300 people. In 2008, we're trying to figure out how many people there were. So we need to figure out how many years have passed. So we're gonna do 2008 minus 2000, which is eight years. So our time is eight. And then we'll type this into our calculator. 1,300 times parentheses. 1 minus 0 0.01, close your parenthesis, caret 8. And you should get about 1,200 people. And that would be your answer. All right, let's try one more together. It says the value of a car is 18,000 and depreciating at a rate of 12% each year. Use an exponential function to find the value of the car after 10 years. So it says the value of a car its initial value is 18,000, so that's going to be my A. So A is 18,000. And it says that it is depreciating, that means decreasing, at a rate of 12% each year. So my R is 12%, but of course we can't use percentages, so we're going to convert this to a decimal by doing 12 divided by 100, which is 0.12. And then our time in this one, it says use an exponential function to find the value of the car after 10 years. So time is 10 years. And then I can plug everything in. So again, my formula is y equals a times one minus r 
all to the t power. So I would have y equals my a is 18,000 times 1 minus my r is 0.112 and my t is 10. So in your calculator, type 18,000 parenthesis 1 minus 0.12 all raised to the 10th power. You should get... And again, we're talking money, so we'll round to two decimal points. You should get $5,013.02. Man, oh man, so that car went from $18,000 to a $5,000 car in 10 years. Crazy. All right, go ahead and try number 10 on, or sorry, nine on your own. So it says a farmer buys a tractor for $50,000. If the tractor depreciates 10%, per year, use an exponential function to find the value of the tractor in seven years. So go ahead and list to, on the side for me what your A value is, what R is, and what T is, and then plug it into your grow, or sorry, decay, um, exponential decay formula. All right, then I'm actually going to have you guys jump down here to number 12 and try number 12. So it says the population of a t town is decreasing at a rate of 2.5% per year. If the population in 2000 was 28,000, what is the expected population in 2015 if the rate of decrease continues? So off to the t side here, please put your initial population your rate at which it is decaying or decreasing, and your time, how much time will have passed between your initial population and where what we're trying to see what the population will be. Once you have those three figures, go ahead and plug them into your exponential decay formula. All right, that concludes your video on exponential growth and decay word problems. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask us.